You guys are back on UCLA Radio, and you guys just heard Put Your Number in My Friend by Ariel Pink. Yes. Woo! And um, we've got hers in the station. Um, uh, that's them. Uh, you guys can <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys want to talk about why those songs are on this playlist. All right. So uh, we've just had Trudy and then Ariel, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Just listened to. yeah, I was wondering yeah. if there was more. No, it was just them. <coughs> Uh, we we wanted to start off uh, in the neighborhood uh, of uh, our our neighborhood, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then like maybe we like take it to this neighborhood as like a oh, representation of the journey we've made to come here. Yeah. So uh, Trudy are our good friends and uh, neighbors uh, from Liverpool. Um, we sit at their fire pit a lot. Uh, I mean, it's <laughs> not fully theirs, but it's uh, Brad lives in the house with the fire pit, so yeah. we carry it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Junkyard Cat is a. Uh, is uh, is about the neighborhood of us as well a little bit. I mean, there's a little cameo by uh, mm-hmm. by the Mersey, the river flowing through the city, and uh, it's it's a it's a dreamy track. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Ariel Pink was a uh, fundamental to the forming of the band. Amazing. Yeah. Did mm-hmm. you guys bond over that one band? Yeah, for sure. Like okay. the like um, the whole when the whole Pom Pom album came out mm. and stuff. That was a big. Uh, it was a big bonding session for us. So yeah, okay. For sure, really for important sure. artist. Is there a band that you guys like when you discovered the other one liked it that you like geeked out about? Yeah, we kind of had that with Mac. Like yeah. Mac yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it was <laughs> early Mac. Yeah. Especially in like in the UK, because mm-hmm. like if you knew about him like early on, you were like, cool. Uh, it was. It was <laughs> oh. like, oh my god, you know about it as well. It was sick. <laughs> yeah, and there wasn't I many know. people at uni <laughs> right, when right. we got there that knew about it. So like, Alden was one of them. Brad was one of them as mm-hmm. well. So yeah. Yeah. Wait, how old are you guys? I'm 23. Okay. No, I'm 25, sadly. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you guys are like saying you like back in the day. Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm in it right Ten now. Years ago, yeah, I was like, I'm in it right now. So I'm like, how, <laughs> how much older could you guys be? I'm 40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's amazing. I remember I like I bonded with one of my friends here over Beach Fossils. Like, oh, yeah, we both yeah. geeked out. We're like, oh my God. Nice. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Music brings people together. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure, yeah. For sure. All right. So I have some little questions before we get into more music um i want to talk about the artwork and all of you know your albums and singles and yeah. especially the pink panty that came showing up yeah. i kind of like want to know like who does the artwork and like the inspiration behind it and then maybe specifically this like pink panty theme all right uh yeah i do all the artwork oh amazing yeah yeah um <laughs> yeah we uh, we discuss it through though uh mm-hmm. we'll, uh have little, I'll little browse sketch, over. Yeah, I'll sketch I'll sessions browse and, <laughs> and talk about what we want to do and, uh, and where we want to take it and stuff. And uh, yeah, I feel like uh, it's been a very, very much learning experience for me. Like obviously, when you go back and look at like we've we've opted to keep it all available. And uh, mm-hmm. you see, the first logo was like probably a bit like MS Paint vibe, <laughs> um, and then like maybe it's like grown from there a little bit. Hopefully. Um, because I've ended up doing quite a lot of it in the mm-hmm. end. I've done all the singles except uh, What Once Was and Dorothy, yeah. uh, the first two. And, uh, yeah, uh, we always uh, just go for, like, an abstract kind of a, a, mm-hmm. a feel to it. Like, obviously, uh, the progression between having the panties theme uh, mm-hmm. and uh, into the new one mm-hmm. of having, like, more maybe... Uh, nighttime scenes and empty empty spaces that would usually be populated and that kind of stuff like mm-hmm. adding like a slight surrealness to everything yeah um but i think uh for the first album we we had uh for the two first singles of that uh there was a speed racer like a big, was big it what was a speed racer speed racer and uh i'll try mm-hmm. uh and the uh, the two dorothy and what once was came out a while before mm-hmm. there were also a lot of singles off that but uh yeah i did those two uh and we wanted it to be slightly cheeky maybe have okay. a little bit of a yeah because there's a big barrier featured uh over mm-hmm. most of the artwork and it's kind of blocking out like <laughs> a nice dreamy landscape scene as well like speed racer it's on a beach and uh, you, you can see like nice stuff going on but you mostly see like a big barrier with the mm-hmm. first panties on it. yeah <laughs> and then uh same on the I'll try cover, but it's like at night in like a mysterious foggy field or something. Like, why would you be in your panties there? Who knows? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I guess it like in the for the album cover. Then it's like you're right in this person's uh, home environment, and uh, 
the panties are on the floor in the night time you see the light coming through the window mm -hmm. uh while they're in bed uh, uh probably maybe who knows yeah but yeah like it's thrown on the floor uh i think that kind of uh has a sense of uh intimacy in daily life to mm -hmm. it that we like a lot maybe yeah yeah, yeah. gone from like making a bit of a uh a statement with the with the big butt mm -hmm. And then into a bit more of an intimate, uh, mm -hmm. natural s situation, maybe. <laughs> Would you ever... Oh, my God, my voice. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever consider making, like, the panties merch? Yeah, we've been looking into yeah? it. Yeah? Yeah, we've had a lot of requests for that, actually. That's amazing. Everybody <laughs> wants the panties, and uh, we tried to make it happen, like, to an extent. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it was just going to cost a lot of money or something. Oh. I okay. think it was really hard to find the exact ones yeah, as well. Yeah. I see. Uh, apparently, this is like, I mean, they're kind of women's pan pants, but I mean, anybody could wear them. Right. Beatles. But yeah, we're giving it. It's like, whoever, however you interpret my eyes, it's right. to you, whoever's wearing them. But um, yeah, a lot of them, like, we were going to go off women pants to make them. Mm hmm. And a lot of them come with like bowls and stuff on the side and oh, like, I see. little mm. things and nicks and knacks while it's yeah. like supposed to be kind of like just pink stripes. Right. Yeah. With the logo yeah. on the butt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it would be for hot like commodity. The uh, fifth anniversary or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, special edition. Mm. Yeah. Um, redo the vinyl and like pink and like yeah. <laughs> comes with a pair of panties. Maybe. That'd be amazing. Um, all right. What are your go to karaoke songs? <laughs> Yikes. We almost, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit scared of the karaoke, being a Norwegian native. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, I've only just started realizing that words in songs have is in English. You know, like <laughs> you know, like what they mean and stuff. Uh, so that's always been a bit hard. We're definitely singing a lot of "I Miss You" in the tour van, though. Mm, yeah, Blink One Eighty Two. That's mm. always a good one. Yeah, it's a big one. I'll do the first verse. I'll do the oh, bass okay. player part and the the chorus bass player part. Miss you part, and then he he does a mean Tom the lunch. Yeah. Have you guys seen the video on YouTube where they just loop the beginning yeah. for like eight yeah. hours? Yeah. And yeah. I like I think I got through maybe like an hour of it, <laughs> and then I just like I like it. <laughs> what much. am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is too much. Yeah. Do you have like a duet karaoke song? I'd be that one. No, it it would, that would be the duet. That would be it. That okay. Would be the duet. I'm gonna. Know. I'm gonna die in to do some karaoke though. I've never done karaoke. Oh I'm yeah. Like, like, I mean like. My friends and I just place. played in the car, and then Don't one of our go-to is How Deep Is Your Love nice. by the Bee Gees, because nice. there's some really nice, like, echoing that goes on yeah, in yeah. the vocal part, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Um, and I guess, last quick one, what is one of your favorite lyrics that you guys have written? Oh, yeah. Um, good. Good. Hard for you. Cool question. Yeah, it's all these babies. Uh... So I'm following these lights around the room. Very, like, <laughs> They're a little distracting. It's like a little snake yeah. running around the room. It's so nice. <laughs> really um, yeah, big club. I'm really, like, yeah, there's certain songs that mean a lot to me. Mm -hmm. um, more recently, uh, on the most recent album, uh, Under Wraps, I really like the lyrics in that song. It's kind of like a little tribute to my mm -hmm. sister. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a, a message of support and love. Yeah, so I guess maybe like mm, no specific line, but um, I, I like mm -hmm. all the lines okay. in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like the same. I, was the same. I mean, I kind of like the the what's your favorite color line from uh, what once was. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable here. No, no, <laughs> no. no. It's funny because Boy. like obviously he he writes all the words for mm -hmm. all the songs, but I I, I you, sometimes I feel like you sing to me. Every night it's a new serenade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really nice. Me. I didn't know that. That's very kind. Oh like yeah, that. no. I like that. <laughs> Thanks, man. But um, yeah, it's like songs that apply to uh, apply to your personal situation. I uh, yeah, can apply to my personal situation mm. and stuff like that as well. Sick. Um, yeah, maybe a song I really like mm, currently could be uh, "Breathing Easy," for example. I find mean, that it's quite moving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that one. Oh, the new well. album. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to move into some more music. Yeah. Um, this next one is Never Let Her Slip Away by yeah. Andrew Cole. So yeah. we'll yeah. give that a quick spin and come back with some more talking points. <laughs> See you. All right. Here we go. And uh, we have hers in the studio. Hey. 
they're still here. We're still. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're still here. And um, like for <laughs> for listeners who are just tuning in, they have a show tonight at the Echoplex, so make sure you grab your tickets before it's completely sold out. Yeah, yeah. it's getting there. Yeah. And yeah. Um, do you guys have plans to come back to LA anytime soon? Uh, After this? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Not like fully in stone yet, mm. but it's... Yeah, we're like trying to brew something. We're trying to trying to brew something. It's gonna be California at least. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely in the neighborhood. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So oh. get your tickets tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Who what's knows? Yeah, yeah. We don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you guys want to talk about those two songs we just played? Um, Brad Stank, and then the first one was Andrew Gold. Yeah. Uh, I think Andrew Gold is like a, a local legend mm. around here. I think. Well, nice. maybe not. Well, we've sat and thought in England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we play that song a lot in the van, along with his other song uh, called Lonely Boy. Yeah, those um, are good karaoke's, actually. Yeah, mm. good karaoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good car sure. karaoke. Very nice driving in the night. Or it just, it, it leaves you on such a, a, a high. That yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should be on every film credit, every yeah. rom com credit. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice, and it's got like the nicest synth sound going. Yeah. Really, like you can really chew on that synth. It's it's uh, it's beefy. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> I like that synth. Hmm. Uh, and then we listened to uh, Liverpool legend uh, Brad Stank, <laughs> uh, who we used to be in a band with. Before it was Brad Stank, it was called Sun Dogs. Ooh. Yeah, we were trying to play grunge. <clears throat> yeah, we <laughs> unconvincingly. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was pretty good at that. Brad was good at that. I don't yeah. think I got away with it, but uh, it was good. Yeah. We were the rhythm section. Amazing. I was yeah. on the kit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, and now he's on the kit in Trudy, so you've yeah. already heard him today, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, previously. amazing. Yeah. 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 And Pondweed is a song. Well, Pondweed <laughs> is like the shitty weed that you get in uh, Chesterfield, where Brad's originally from. Yeah. Uh, they call it they call it Pondweed there. Mm. All right. It comes with all kinds of extra stuff in it that you don't want. <laughs> glass. Bonus, bonus spice in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like extra protein mm. or whatever. <laughs> just like little shit. things. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So um, if you guys don't know, they just put out their debut album, Invitation to Hers, which is out now. Yay. Um, and um, on your awesome label, Heister Hit. Yay. And um, you have like a previous collection yeah. um, called Songs of Hers, which came out last year. So yeah. for people, yeah. you know, go buy it. Go support. Spend your money on yeah. us. Do you guys have um, like merch tonight at the show? Yeah. For yeah. it? Okay, cool. We'll be bringing up a little bit more. Yeah. Go Lots of t-shirts. Actually, that we've stuff. got way too many t-shirts, so people need to buy them. <laughs> please <laughs> If buy you the come t-shirts. in, please buy a t-shirt. <laughs> you should get like a t-shirt gun and just yeah, shoot them out. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about popping t-shirt cannons <laughs> these last couple of days. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah. Um, and okay, so you guys also put out a new music video called Under Wraps. Yeah. Mm. And I kind of just want to talk about like the concept behind the video, like... Um, yeah. The roller skating, the roller rink, and kind of, um, yeah, what your thoughts behind were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, so, <laughs> it's yeah. funny, actually, because like, <laughs> somebody <laughs> got in touch with us. He's, um, is he local, is he LA? Wow. He's coming to the show tonight. Yeah, His name's George R- Ramos. Yeah, Ramos. Gosh. And, uh, yeah, he kind of wanted to make a music video for us. Oh, he's okay. The man with the vision. It's all filmed in a... Uh, around here yeah oh was yeah. it at moonlight roller one i have no idea oh okay maybe the thing okay. is we were safely sat at home in liverpool <laughs> like it was uh, yeah. being uh, masterminded by george yeah. yeah but uh we were so in, in impressed and happy with how it came out looking mm-hmm. and it's a mm-hmm. uh, it's a proper proper nice vision he's had with it uh we've always wanted that to happen like we've always yeah. been looking for like a director to come in with like a specific vision to, to to a specific, specific song he wants to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His music uh, videos are horrible and hard. It's to very get tough right. to, mm-hmm. to work out how to do them, yeah. yeah. And that just, like, fell into our lap so, so yeah. much. And, uh, uh, it, uh, yeah, uh, we think as, uh, as like, um, obviously sitting on the other half of the other side of the planet, there's not, like, loads of, like, good Americana going mm-hmm. on there, so... Uh, we really romanticize all these uh, these situations okay. that are going yeah. on in there, you know. Uh, we're always talking about prom and stuff, and we don't... <laughs> like, oh, wait, you guys don't have prom? Yeah, I, I had prom. Oh, okay. But it wasn't, like, like your kind of prom. No. Oh, I see. Where yeah. people, like, dress up. There's, like, limos and... Yeah, like, we had, yeah it was like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it, it was, was like, like... in a mansion. 
Yeah, as in like an English like hotel, like manor oh, kind of hotel, I see. And, like posh grounds and stuff. Okay. And drinking wine and yeah, you were drinking wine. <laughs> Nobody yeah. else was at least <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I got crazy, crazy drunk <clears throat> on my prom actually, and I got I hired a suit with a cravat and I looked insanely dumb, <laughs> and I got mud all over it because I like fell into this little swamp. <laughs> Nobody was drinking the wine. So Nobody wanted smashed. to drink the wine. We so were you all smashed 16. All the wine. And I was like, can I take your wine then? And they were like, yeah, sure thing. Ended up like <laughs> going up to my history teacher and telling him that he was like the best guy ever. And uh, yeah, nice I gave man. back the muddy suit in the bag. I didn't <laughs> tell them. I was like, there's the suit. Goodbye. And then they will have found a big muddy suit inside there. Yeah, my, my problem was like... We were like thirty people over like three years of school, so okay. it was a it was an intimate one <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, so yeah. that was Norwegian prom is definitely very very far <laughs> removed. Mm-hmm. No limos in here, in there you pull up in your in your mum's car, uh, <laughs> driven by your mum obviously. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Pop out with uh, with your with your uh, braids, sads oh. and braids at the time. Mm. Braids it wasn't a great look. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you were. The prom king. I was the prom king. You were king. the prom king. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Made it to be the prom Calling king. Calling out the guns at the end of that yeah, story. No, no. <laughs> Auden was the prom king. Yeah, yeah, I got to do the first dance with a, with a, with a girl from the year above. Oh, very cute. You know. All right. Nerves. Very nice. Yeah, that's that amazing. was nerves. Yeah, it was sweaty palms. But that's also left a, a, a like a, an impression that we've uh, clung to. Like, we really... Like the idea of the American mm-hmm. from, you know, like the vibes and stuff. Uh, we have a bit in the set where I start talking about it and stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at the start of the song, a bit of a long intro. Cool. Do a little thought experiment about prom. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, and then one more song before we play two more songs. Yeah. Um, so I just have a quick question about cop theme on yeah. Song of Hers. It's just like a 25 second, like, yeah. synthy track. And I'm just so curious, like, what was behind that? 25 second uh, track i think that the was a late night <laughs> yeah it was a late night when we lived together uh in this like really high up flat in the middle of liverpool and it was freezing all the time in this flat and yeah, shit we were and just wearing like coats <laughs> we were going a bit insane and then yeah yeah Odin came up with this crazy slap bass mm-hmm. thing and then we recorded that and just like layered a lot of stuff on top of it in some like strange haze yeah uh, yeah, it was definitely a bit of a messy night. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, slowly been drinking a couple of beers, yeah. slowly <laughs> and stuff, yeah. It was a good time, though, and, like, we didn't, we didn't have to, like, mix it or anything. Like, mm-hmm. we kind of joked around, like, putting it at the start of Speed Racer video. Mm. Uh, and then it kind of just stuck with Speed Racer. Like, it kind of sums up, like, the confidence, like, to me, at least, it kind of sums up the confidence of the Speed Racer character a bit beforehand. Yeah. Mm. Oh, um, I see. It yeah. kind of, uh, it was like immediately reminded of Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> like the theme because yeah, of the yeah. bass. I'll and then like that. there is like I know this other guy named Flamingo Osis. Flamingo Osis. Mm. I don't know if you guys know him. No. Uh, no, he's kind of like a new disco like a vaporwave guy on SoundCloud. Yeah, but he did make a song in like 2012 called like Porno Music, mm. and that <laughs> song just like triggered that song for me. And I was like, oh my god, this could totally be in the start of like an 80s porno <laughs> i don't know music video yeah, idea who knows <laughs> cop themes a bit sexy though, yeah maybe sometimes yeah I think yeah it is. yeah I've, i'm always thinking like miami vice or something exactly right? <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly that's the cops coming out yeah interesting fact about cop theme while we're on it just mm. to clear this oh it says we've got minus plays like minus oh. A, oh. under a thousand plays on cop theme nobody likes it <laughs> but, you, you, but you don't it the plays don't count on Spotify unless the song is longer than like thirty seconds. Oh, so that's yeah. why. I see. Yeah, we yeah. got it. We got it. We didn't know at the time. That was the Spotify fun fact of the day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There you go. For Spotify right. need yeah. to change that. <laughs> Cop theme sick. We need, yeah. uh, we need our fucking revenue on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh right, because then that doesn't count, huh? Yeah. Guess not. Yeah, so All right, Spotify. Like Fifty pence or something. Yeah. Like that. We gotta get on it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we're gonna. Do two more songs before we close out and okay. uh, get you guys rolling for your show tonight. Yeah. Um, at the Echoplex, guys, get your tickets yeah. tonight. Um, <laughs> so this next one is called 20 by Hannah's Little Sister. Yes. Yeah, All is. right. You're tuning in to UCLA Radio. Um, so I guess if you guys want to say anything. Oh, now it's, it's quarter to ten in England right yeah. now. 
Oh, oh, oh yeah, friends <laughs> tuning in. Yeah. Uh, Do you have oh, shout outs? There is oh. an important it's thing a... to say in there about our manager's baby on the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're we're wanting to announce this. Oh, he's so angry that we're saying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not happy. No, yeah, no. He's having his second baby. Ellery's Ooh. getting a brother or a sister. Congratulations Shit. to the cold oh. club. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, we guys, that means life. we need to listen to the music. So, yeah. there's money for the baby. Yeah. yeah see, yeah, we have to support the band even buy more them now. T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> buy them some. We got like 150 to carry to his <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Buy some t-shirts tonight. Um, yeah. Support the band. Support the new baby coming. Yeah. Coming yeah. soon. <laughs> maybe maybe we're band. having a baby as well. I don't know. Amazing. <laughs> Um, once again, nice. the band is playing tonight at the Echoplex. Um, get your tickets. Mm. And I guess since we were like, um, kind of talking about this, but if you could pick a tattoo for the other person, what oh, would nice. you make them get? Hmm. Interessant. I think I'd get you, uh, so I'm Odin, by the way, in case you need <laughs> like a name to yeah. the, the, to the voice. I think I'd get Fausty. I might get him, um, like, uh. Maybe like a wooden stool with like a like some craftsman's tools next to it. Yeah. And maybe some wood fleecing on the uh, on the hypothetical floor because he lives a, he lives the dream of uh, manual labor. So he really wants. Uh, yeah. He really hopes to get into crafting some Amazing. wooden stools. Yeah. Uh, ideally, out of um, oh, maybe I shouldn't give away your concept. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get into driftwood. Yeah. Driftwood Ooh. stools. Yeah. Uh, so you can look out for that on the merch desk in the future, maybe. Yeah, I'll um, make one for you at the merch desk <laughs> when I've learned how to do it. Yeah. And when I've found enough driftwood. Right. Trying, trying yeah. to convince my dad to teach him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going to go to Odin's dad's school. Yeah, so I'd get you like a, a wooden stool with, mm. with some tools, like maybe on like the back of your leg. I think. Mm, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Peaceful. <laughs> yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, my tattoo for Odin would probably be my favorite item in my flat, which is my uh, oh, plunging yeah. spear. Oh, I'd get your plunging yeah. spear, that's so, great. <laughs> you I, like your plunging spear, don't you? Yeah, I built um, a plunger that mean that, that, that it's long enough that you don't have to like really get your hand in the toilet. Oh, I see. And, and my toilet like just gets clogged a lot for some reason it's just not the got the not the Bad strongest mm. yeah it's a big green toilet that's not very strong it looks like it's from the 70s though. yeah <laughs> so i'd maybe get like maybe so yeah old. it's just like a very long handle that i took off mm. the broom and then i oh, attached yeah. it to I my see. plunger what a privilege so i'd probably get that like on your neck <laughs> on my neck yeah <laughs> like coming up from my shoulder like yeah they'd be like hey what's angle? that what's that thing <laughs> oh it's you. my toilet Spear. <laughs> it's my friend's toilet, toilet yeah. spear. Yeah. yeah, not quite yours. Yeah, the toilet Your plants, as I call it. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, um, great, thanks. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for um, being on the show today. Yeah, yeah And um, can't wait to see you guys tonight at the Echo Plex. Once again, get your tickets, guys. And for tomorrow night. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just fly, fly up with them. Just LA. keep buying yeah. tickets yeah. forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. And... That is the show. Woo. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.